It's a bright sunny morning. You've had your healthy breakfast, done your stretches, and now you're ready for a run. 10 minutes into your run, you feel slight pain in your side. You feel pain on the bottom of your rib cage on the right side, so you stop. The pain goes away, but the moment you begin to run again, the pain comes back. So you ask yourself, what is this pain and what's causing it? Every ache and pain in our body has a name and a reason why it occurs. To find out what this pain is, continue watching. But first, why don't you hit subscribe and click the notification bell as well. We're great at letting you know all about what's irking you, so give us a shot. All right, so let's get back to that hurt side of yours. The pain that's causing you discomfort while you're performing physical exercise is called a stitch. Stitches, not the medical procedure that closes up a wound, are muscle spasms of the diaphragm. They mainly occur occasionally during strenuous activity. Despite scientists not knowing exactly what causes a stitch, there are some educated guesses. One theory is the diaphragm, the muscle that separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity, isn't receiving enough blood during its contractions. But there are reasons that you, yes you, might get stitches during your workout, and they include these. Going for a run too soon after eating. Remember when your mother told you not to go swimming for 30 minutes after you've eaten? She said that because apparently you'd get a cramp, didn't she? Well, it turns out it wasn't a warning just about swimming. It was for all exercising. Some runners have found that going on a run just after they've ate ups the chances of them getting a stitch. But how long should you wait before going for a run? Well, Runner's World has two different answers. First, when it comes to big meals, they say, let's define a large meal as a meal containing more than 600 calories with several ounces of protein or meat, carbohydrates, and some fat, a typical lunch or a large breakfast. If you have a meal like this, you should wait three to four hours before running so that your body can digest this type of food. And second, when it comes to small meals, when it comes to smaller meals or a snack, think two to 300 calories, you may only need to wait an hour or two before the body's able to digest. If your snack is made up of simple carbohydrates with little to no fat or protein like a banana or an English muffin with jam, an hour or so should do as these simple carbs are easier to digest. If you introduce more fat or protein like a cup of yogurt or a slice of toast with peanut butter, it's best to wait a bit longer. Essentially, you'll have to wait between one and four hours. Jeez, that sure is a lot more than 45 minutes you quoted us on as kids, mom. Not warming up before a run. Sometimes when people don't stretch or do a quick warm up before they run, they'll experience a side stitch. Make sure that you're working those muscles out a little bit before you, well, go and work those muscles out a little bit. Ah, exercise sure is confusing. Drinking sweet beverages. Some people say if they drink soda pops or monsters before they go on a run, they tend to experience more side stitches. Our advice, just stick to water. We know that Monster Energy Drink trademark can be really extreme, and you want to let the world know how cool and extreme and how much of a gamer you are. But if you're looking to avoid side stitches, then maybe this isn't the look for you. Having curvature of the spine, scoliosis. There are some runners with scoliosis or other similar curvatures of the spine that report getting side stitches more than others. And this correlation is backed by studies as well. One such piece of research done by the Journal of Science and Medicine in Sport wanted to evaluate the influence of posture and body type on the experience of exercise-related transient abdominal pain, or ETAP for short. Postural and somatotype assessments were performed on 104 active males and 55 active females aged 18 and above and were correlated against the self-reported experience of ETAP. Individuals demonstrating kyphosis were more likely to be susceptible to ETAP. Jeez, you've already got some pretty bad back problems, as if you need more to worry about. Shallow breathing. There isn't a whole lot of science behind this, but some experts are finding a link between shallow breathing and side stitches. Improper breathing in general is attributed to side stitches. Remember folks, breathe deep and breathe strong. Like a leg cramp, when there's not enough blood supply to the general area, a spasm or sharp pain will occur. According to research, about two-thirds of avid runners and walkers experience a side stitch. 
In 2015, there was a review article that was published, and it noted that after the 1940s and 50s, there was almost a 50-year gap in research on side stitches. Despite the lack of research, there are a few things that you can do to treat it when it occurs. Before we get into that, it's important to know that this pain should only be temporary. If the pain does not subside, then it's best to make an appointment with your doctor. Stop or slow down. If you experience a side stitch, the first thing you should do is either stop, if you can, or slow down. Then, you'll want to bend forward and push your fingers into the painful area. This will force your diaphragm to relax and ease the spasm while increasing blood flow. Breathe deeply and exhale slowly. The main reason for why you're experiencing this pain is that there isn't enough blood flow and your diaphragm has become very tense. In order to allow blood flow to flow into the area, the diaphragm needs to be relaxed. This breathing technique will relax it. Stretch the abdominal muscles. Sometimes, all you need to do is stretch the muscle that is aching. So, when you feel that stitch, reach over your head and hold your arms in the exact position until the stitch goes away. Wait a few minutes after it disappears before resuming physical activity. The Women's Running Method Website and experts on running, womensrunning.com, has an interesting technique when it comes to getting rid of side stitches. They tell you to first focus on being relaxed. Remember, it's only a stitch. You're not dying, yet. Now, slow down and bring your hands around the area that hurts, surrounding it like a claw. As you exhale, pinch the area that's in pain with your fingers and your thumb. Then relax your hand as you inhale. Do this for five to six breaths, and you should be gravy, baby. Now that you know how to treat your stitch, we're sure you would have preferred to never experience one. So we're going to talk about the best ways to prevent a side stitch from ever occurring. Don't eat and run. If you find that stitches seem to occur after you've eaten a big meal, it might be beneficial if you wait 30 to 90 minutes after eating before you begin exercising. Decrease intensity and increase duration of exercise. This prevention tip is even more essential if you are starting a new workout program. Research has shown that stitches are more common for those who are untrained exercisers. It's best to gradually increase intensity so you can sidestep stitches. Warm up. The older you get, the more fragile your muscles and bones become, making warm ups that much more important. If you're a runner, start with a 10 minute light jog to get the blood flowing and the muscles moving before you begin. Avoid shallow breathing. Shallow breathing only uses a small portion of your lung capacity. I know it can be difficult to take deep breaths when you're running, but this doesn't allow the diaphragm to descend far enough to allow the connected ligaments of the liver to relax. Practice deep breathing exercises. The best way to avoid a stitch is to get your breathing sorted out. For this technique, lie down on the floor and place your hand on your abdomen. Breathe in deeply. This is called belly breathing. If only your chest moves up when you breathe, then you're not breathing deep enough. Attempt forced exhalation. If you cannot master deep breathing, the next choice would be to force yourself to breathe deeply. While you're running, pretend like you're blowing out candles. To do this, purse your lips while you exhale. This will cause you to breathe deeply. Do not drink beverages high in carbs. You might think that drinking an energy drink or a drink high in sugar while you run is a good thing, but chances are it's making you dehydrated. The best thing to do is to drink water while you run. Your stomach may not react well to the high carbohydrate intake. And so, our video about side stitches is complete. What did you think? Did you learn anything about these pesky pains? Did we miss any of the best ways to rid or prevent these awful aches? Let us know in the comment section below everything you know about side stitches. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.